So now, let's do a Domino's Fall animation inside of Cinema 4D by using its physics engine. So to do that, I'm going to bring a floor right here, which is my base. It is going to be acting as my collider body. So I'm just going to right click over here and I'm going to go on to simulation tag and I'm going to choose collider body. Once I do that, I'm going to bring in a cube right here and I'm going to enable uh, the editing right here. So I'm going to turn it into an uh, editable object by pressing C right here. And then I'm going to resize this document right over here and I'm going to increase the dominoes in size. So once you do that, I can just drag this down. So I'm just going to keep it a bit above uh, the area right over here. So I'm just going to copy this out. So I'm going to copy both of these objects out now. Uh, but before that, I'm going to turn this into a rigid body. So I'm going to right click Go, I'm going to go on to rendering tags, not rendering tag, but over here, I'm going to go to its simulation tag and I'm going to choose rigid body. I'm going to increase the uh, frame to 1000 so that I can have animation right here. So let me just press the play button and you can see that it actually glides on with my surface right over there. So now once that is done, I'm just going to make copies of this. So yeah, you, you can see that I got two cubes that is, uh, two cubes as in two dominoes right over there which actually I distorted so you can make copies of this just like this and if you were to press the play button they are all lined onto a place so you can select all of them and then create a copy as well so just hold control and drag it out and there you go there's a copy of it you can move this a bit to the side and even rotate this around so that it actually looks a bit different so I can just rotate this around just like that and I can go over here and I can just drag this around over here just like this and I can rotate this around so I can rotate this around just like that and over here I can move it to the side so just move this to the side over here and pull it backwards just like this and there you go that's my dominoes lineup right over there so my physics engine is already on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in something uh, like a spear right here which is going to be the collider so this is going to fall over from over here from uh, this side and it'll act as a starting point for the dominoes fall. So I'm just going to increase this in size just like this and I'm going to turn this into a collider body just like this. So I'm going to turn this into a collider body and I'm going to drag this up. Not a collider body, sorry, I, I need to convert this into a rigid body. So I'm just going to right click over here onto my sphere. Then I'm going to go on to my simulation tag and I'm going to turn this on to a rigid body just like this. So just drag this up. And once you press the play button, let's see if it actually, it doesn't actually interact. So let me just move this a bit to the side and let's see if it's interacts now. And it does right there. So there you go. So now let's see how the animation works. So let me just bring it into the beginning. And if I were to press the play button right here, the domino animation starts happening and you can see that this is the effect so every domino fall along just like that with the previous path right over there so now you can make this as long as you want so you can actually select all of the cube shapes right over here just like this drag it along the side and then maybe rotate this around so that let's say two of the animation happens right around at the same time just like this so let's just go around over here and let's work around with the animation. So let, if I were to press the play button, uh, let's see if it actually, no, it does not work around with this one. So I'm just going to rotate this around a bit so it falls on a different place, just like this. So just uh, rotate this around over here. So just rotate this around over here and press the play button and there you go. So both of the dominoes falls down as you can see right there. And this is how the physics in the wet inside of Cinema 4D. And you can see that you can really get a mesmerizing effect without having to work much. So that is how you can use uh, uh, you, you can use physics engine to create dominoes uh, falling animation inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.